The Rode Video Mic Go versus the KNF Concept Shotgun Microphone. Is this a Rode killer or Rode kill? The Rode Video Mic Go is Rode's cheapest on-body microphone, coming in at around 50 pounds. Consider this though, the KNF Concept is half of that price, retailing at 25.99 from many online retailers. Function and form wise, these are pretty much identical microphones, as in they serve the same purpose. They are on-body DSLR or mirrorless camera microphones, and they are specifically designed for that use. They both have 3.5 mil audio jacks, they both have cold shoe mounts, and they both have some form of wind defense, as in a dead cat or a foam shield. They're also both condenser microphones and have a hypercardioid pickup pattern, which means both of these microphones are very directional. They should just pick up sound in front of them and reject sound from the sides and the rear. Now being condenser microphones, that means they both require some form of power. And this is where the Rode video mic go really wins over the KNF concept. The Rode microphone is powered from the camera via its 3.5 mil audio jack, meaning it's an always on microphone. You don't need to worry about any switches or batteries. As soon as the camera's on, so is the microphone. When you look at that in comparison to the KNF concept, this requires a battery and a CR2032 watch battery at that. It also means it needs an on and off switch in order to be operable, which is something that we will often forget to use. Now looking at the build quality and the aesthetics of these two microphones, I think it's safe to say that the Rode wins hands down, but it is twice the price. Aesthetically, it's just a much more attractive bit of equipment. It has a, just a, a nicer look to it. Build quality wise, it's also supreme. It is a all plastic construction, but at no point does it feel cheap. It feels durable, it feels hardy in hand. Whereas the KNF Concept is a mixture of plastic and this cheap metal alloy construction. It just feels a lot cheaper in hand. It feels a lot less durable, a lot weaker. Probably something that won't stand the test of time. The Rode microphone also features an integrated suspension mount, which is fantastic at removing any handling noise or heavy footfall. The KNF Concept is sadly lacking this. The manufacturer does say it has some shock proofing, but in testing, we can find no evidence of that. Any heavy handling noise of the camera itself or footfall is gonna be picked up by this, unfortunately. So it's something you absolutely have to bear in mind. And talking of noise, both of these microphones fall short. The Rode Video Mic Go has one of the worst reputations for picking up interference from things like radio, Wi-Fi, mobile phones, or even heavy electrical items. But the KNF Concept is even worse at it. From our testing, it is very, very susceptible to any kind of electrical interference which will make your audio clips from that bit of recording totally unusable. So the most important part of any microphone or comparison is obviously the audio quality. And now it comes to the point of this video where we test these side by side. In order to do that, we're gonna use a Canon 70D. In a typical vlogging setup, there'll be a hand grip, and we're gonna be holding the microphone about a meter away from me. So without further ado, let's get that set up. So let's switch over to the sound from the KNF Concept. So you're now listening to me through the KNF Concept shotgun microphone. You're less than a meter away, which is kind of a standard vlogging setup. Now let's switch this over to the Rode Video Mic Go. So now I'm talking to you through the Rode Video Mic Go. Again, same setup, you're just in my right hand, you're about a meter away from me. This is the perfect vlogging setup. Again, a lot of it is subjective, so listen to what you feel like sounds like the better microphone. We're gonna switch back to the KNF now. Now we're back with the KNF concept. Again, same setup. And you just wanna to listen to what your preference is. A lot of this is subjective, what the EQ of the microphone sounds like to your ear, which you prefer, but also you're listening out for things like noise and interference in the background. Let's switch back one more time to the road. Now one more time with the road. Really take some time to listen to the sound of my voice. Again, we're in a perfect scenario, so this is how this microphone will sound at its best, but which do you prefer the sound of? Perhaps let us know in the comments which you think is the better value microphone. So enough of this vlogging, let's switch back to the main cameras. So we've had a chance to test those microphones side by side, review that footage in audio, and there's some really interesting things here. I think the first and most noticeable difference between the two is the EQ difference, as in, just the tone of the microphone. 
The Rode has a lot more middle. It sounds a lot warmer. It's a lot better at the human voice. Whereas the KNF Concept has a lot more top end and bass and the middle's a little bit lacking. It's a less attractive sound to the ear. One of the really crucial differences that we noticed is the sensitivity difference or the output volume of the two microphones. The Rode is a really hefty output on it, whereas the KNF Concept is almost insensitive. It's very quiet in how it outputs its sound. It makes that plus 10 dB gain booster that it's got almost crucial in order to get it up to the same volume as the Rode microphone. And the final and most noticeable difference between the two that we found is actually the pickup pattern. How sensitive this microphone is at picking up sounds that it's not supposed to. The KNF Concept actually has a more directional pickup pattern. It's better at picking up sound directly in front of it and rejecting sound from the sides and the rear than the Rode microphone is. Now, whether that's a good or bad thing is kind of down to how you're filming your vlogs. If you're two people like me and Pete are here and one of you is always behind the camera, it's probably not such a good thing. But if you're constantly shooting in a selfie style or as a one person team, then the KNF concept is actually probably the better choice in that scenario. The quality difference isn't actually that drastic. We were kind of pleasantly surprised with the KNF concept, especially considering it's half the price of the Rode alternative. So I'd argue that despite some really key shortcomings on the KNF concept, that this microphone is actually a perfectly acceptable and accessible budget option for any new filmmakers. So if you're in the market for a new microphone for your DSLR or mirrorless camera and your budget doesn't stretch to the 50 pounds for the Rode video might go, then I would definitely consider the KNF Concept shotgun microphone. That's been my grab and go review, comparison style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.